Okay, hello Sagittarius. How you doing? This is Keep It Classy. Okay, I'm doing a reading. We're going to see what's for you guys. We're going to see what you need to know, hear, or see that's going on around you. Please hit the notification button below to be notified when I post a video. Like, share this video, you guys. Um, join to become a member if you like to join my channel. Uh, subscribe, new viewers. Welcome. Thank you for stopping by checking me out. I'd love for you guys to subscribe to my channel. Check out the description box below, you guys. Click on the Pits Benefits website. Check it out. Feel free to donate to my channel. My information is below. Also, um, if you want a free reading, hit me up. My emails are below. Okay? And I will be doing um, free readings for a short amount of time. Okay? Alright, so... Hey, you guys, so let's get some cards to drop to see what you guys need to know or hear. See, see what comes out. Oh, you're intuitive. What I heard for you guys intuitively. I forgot to do Aries, too. Um, what I heard for you guys is you belong to me. So somebody's feeling like you belong to them. It's almost like they feel like you own them. I mean, they own you. Okay, so that's what I'm hearing. You belong to me. Okay, so, um, Holy Spirit, show us, show us what Sagittarius needs to know here, see concerning stability, love, romance, relationship. Show us what Sagittarius needs to know here, see concerning their love, romance, and their stability. Show us what Sagittarius needs to see, hear, and know concerning their love, romance, and stability. Okay. Oh my goodness. All right, so we have the star card here. And we have the magician. Aries. The Ace of Cups. And the Six of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so wow. So you have a Aquarius in your chart. Somebody seeing you as a star, being successful in the spotlight, popular. Okay, and they're manifesting you. This is an Aries. Yeah. Both of y'all can have Aquarius in your chart. But they see you as very uh, successful. Uh, whatever it is you, you're doing. I don't know if you're a reader or um, a musician, poet, something. But they see you being successful. A writer, you're in the public eye or something. Because they can see it. The magician, they're manifesting you. This has them manifesting you. You're their fulfillment. Six of Swords. This person is coming in one and balance with you with you. They're seeing you balancing them out. Will of Fortune. They're wanting the will to turn in their fortune concerning you. So you're getting everything you wanted. All your dreams, they're being fulfilled. They see they see you just, they could, this is them. They can see you manifesting what you want. They can see the wheel turning in your favor. They can see you soaring high. Or this is what's going on with you. Wow, beautiful. They see that you're doing all this. This has been manifesting you. Okay, um, show us what um, Sagittarius needs to see here. No concerning their stability, love, relationships. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, it's flying. Yeah, you're soaring high. You're flying high. These cars are even flying. Woo! Okay, the Four of Swords is here. Okay, the Eight of Cups is here. Justice. Okay, the hair font is here. The Queen of Swords is here. And the Empress is here. Okay, so somebody is, is praying that you don't walk away. Okay? You may be planning on a separation. They may feel like you, you're going to separate from them or divorce. This is somebody you're married to. Okay, they're, they're worried that you're going to separate, want a separation or a divorce. They want a victory in the relationship. Okay, they don't want you to walk away. They want a victory. They're praying that you don't walk away from them because they want a victory with you in the marriage. You may have cut this person off or you have your guard up with them and they're wanting you to let your guard down. Okay, they, this person, they love you. They, you're their empress. You're their empress. Okay, they love everything about you. Okay, um. All right. So, um, Holy Spirit, show us what Sagittarius needs to know concerning stability, love, romance, relationship. And. Oh, Lord, let's see. Okay, so we have the emperor here. The high priestess is here. Wow. The tower is here. And the ten of wands is here. Hmm. So the emperor is here. Um. They're trying to will you. They're trying to will what they want. Okay, if they don't get it, they will will what they want. You know, they're trying to put it in their hands. They're trying to control what happens between you and them. They're willing. They're manifesting it. Like up there in the top. High Priestess. Yeah, they may be doing some black magic, some love spells. To prevent a tower. Ten of Wands is here. This person is may not be well. This person or they're going through a tower in with their health. By them um, trying to use some type of um, magic to will what they want, this may have caused them a tower moment with their health. That's what I'm seeing here. So if you're dealing with someone that got their health is bad, that's what's going on. They were trying to use some type of magic and it hit their health. they like, Backfired on them. Um, somebody tried to do it. I don't know if it's an Aries or this. Um, they put some type of magic out there, or in your relationship or something, but it, it backfired on them and it caused them some health. Or the person you're in the relationship with did it. Okay, um, show us what Sagittarius needs to know here or see concerning their stability, relationships, love, finances. Show us what Sagittarius needs to hear. 
cutting their relationship. Love, stability, romance. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so we have the Seven of Swords here. Okay, we have the Three of Wands here. Okay, the Eight of Pentacles. And the Six of Wands. Um, the Death card. And the Nine of Wands here. Hmm. So, um, they're deceiving the person. They're deceiving somebody. Somebody's being deceived. They're actually waiting on their fulfillment. Somebody's being deceiving, trying to be sneaky. So maybe the person you with, they're, they may be deceived. Mm, somebody, let's see. So maybe this person that so they're sabotaging their cell. Or this emperor, they sabotaged themselves concerning you. They knew that they were your fulfillment in the beginning. They knew this. They knew that you were there. Yeah. But they may be deceiving an earth sign. It could be an earth sign they went. They're deceiving an earth sign. They may have turned their back on that person. And they're waiting on you. They're trying to charge forward in a victory with you. Or they're wanting to, and they they may be planning on ending things with this earth sign, but it's a struggle for them mentally and physically. Or they're wanting to, they're wanting to end things with this earth sign. This is a fire sign. So you got an emperor too, who was trying to will you, who was trying to manifest you. They did some kind of magic, but it backfired. It caused a tower on them and maybe their health. And that's this emperor is this um, eight of cups. And so maybe they did it. The Eight of Cups may have did it. The water sign. They tried to do some type of magic. Maybe to keep you, to hold on to you. And it backfired. And they sabotaged themselves. They may have was looking towards the earth sign. Thinking the earth sign was their fulfillment. Trying to charge forward with an earth sign, ending things with you. And this person didn't do nothing but put a struggle physically and mentally on this person, on this water sign. So the water sign sabotaged themselves concerning you. Even, even though they knew you was their fulfillment, it was going towards somebody else. Knowing darn well you were their fulfillment. But there's an Aries up here who sees you in your success. And you are their fulfillment. And they want you. But this this water sign, they sabotage the relationship. They mess you guys' relationship up.
Yep, they messed y'all relationship up. That's what I'm I see right there. Okay, so let's get some advice. So you have two people wanting you, sad. You have a fire sign wanting you and somebody you're married to, a water sign. They sabotaged the relationship going after somebody else and it was nothing but a struggle for them. This person didn't do nothing but put them through a struggle. Mentally and physically. They were sabotaged their sales. Now you are upon a success. You're successful. Okay, um, show us some advice that you have for Sagittarius. Show us advice that you have for Sagittarius. Show us advice that you have for Sagittarius. Okay. All right. So we have the Princes of Swords. Okay. So Sagittarius, um, you're looked at as being strong, um, charming. You need to use those and be observant. Know what's going on around you, you know? Use your intuition, okay? The lovers is here, okay? Or this person sees you as this. There's somebody that sees you as being um strong, aggressive, charming, powerful, okay? And they keep their eye on you. This person, they're in love with you. The lovers. Four of Wands is here. Okay, they want to marry you. This person wants to marry you. They want to reunite with you. Three of Cups. Okay. So maybe your advice is to go ahead and reunite with this person, this Gemini that's in love with you. Okay, um, show us some more advice that you have for Sagittarius. Show us more advice that you have for Sagittarius. Are you just being told somebody wants to reunite? Okay, Four of Cups. Hesitate. Don't rush into the offer. Four of Cups is here. Okay, hesitate. Think about it first. Um, know that this is Three of Wands. Know that this person is your fulfillment. This person coming in. To make the offer, you may be their fulfillment, but are they your fulfillment? Okay. Princes of Cups. Can this person match you successfully? Okay. Is it going to be an equal give and take? Romance. Make sure, you know. Look at all these aspects in this person. Are they going to romance, romanticize you or romance in your life? Fine. Make sure this person is treating you right. Make sure this person is gentle. Success. Make sure it's an equal give and take. Make sure it's somebody that you, it's longevity concerning a new beginning of growth. Okay. That it's going to be longevity. Not something short. You know what I'm saying? You know, for the long term, not the short term. That's what I'm getting with these cards. So don't rush into anything. Use your intuition. Make sure this is person is everything you want and need in a man or a woman. Your fulfillment, like you're their fulfillment, make sure you're theirs. I mean, like you're their fulfillment, make sure they're your fulfillment, okay? Before you embark on a new beginning of growth with this person. All right? So that's what I have for you guys. Um, please like, share, hit the notification button below. Um, subscribe, new viewers. Thank you for stopping by. I hope I can give you guys some insight on something you need to see. Um, again, check the description box below. If you want a free reading, Email me at those email addresses below. 
Um, feel free to donate to the channel. Thank you, you guys. Also, check out that website, Fits Benefits Wear, okay? Thank you. Love you guys. Be good. And have a blessed week ahead, all right? Stay warm.